riding in the car, car, take me riding in the car, car. Take you riding in my car, car, I'll take you riding in my car. So I'm going to put a coat of paint on this to keep it from rusting every day because of the moisture in the air. It's all painted. Now I'm working on getting these um, the steering system figured out. I uh, put a little tab on this and now I'm going to do the same thing on the one that will go right here. And that's over here. Massacred a set of forks. Grinding this smooth and I'll cut this off here and put another tab on. We're at right now. Um, just getting ready to try to linkage figured out there and then start working on the gearing first you gotta read a book right here we are working the steering linkage with our guest That's how you grind a 10 millimeter bolt to 3 eighths to put into that ball joint end. And here's for the back, the transmission, my shaft, and I was going to try to modify this to mount it on there somehow. And I was just about to start cutting some things here with the drill press and realized that. This little thing I cut off of the forks is about exactly the right size to go on here. After a little grinding, it should fit on there well. A little bit of filing. And then I think if I cut, if I cut this with just the flange and the thread stay there, I can push this in with the inside and weld it. And then put this to the shaft. Well we're getting to that stage where I'm starting to finally look at the transmission. Something like this driving that side for the pedal power. The problem is I'm not going to have much clearance. This is going to have to be raised up so the chain doesn't hit this obviously. <clears throat> and we're going to end, on, end up with a clearance problem. That's the sacrifice for having a low center of gravity I guess. Okay, this year I've gone back and forth on about a dozen times, so I finally decided I'm just going to weld two bolts there, and then I can adjust the height of this plate um, to raise or lower the pillow block bearing. It's doing a little painting to prevent the rust. Just taking things over. I got those brackets and the motor brackets and brackets for a jack shaft in place. <laughs> Farmore's pushing ASAP around with a broom. He's, he's steering the bike. Nice. Got um, this side working, put a little um, three-wheel holder there, and made a little set sprocket here, so now you uh, pedal and remove this, I need to put in the derailleur here, and now we're working on this side, got this set up to here, and welded on a little 13 tooth sprocket there, and now I'm working on um, the sprocket, or the yeah, sprocket for back there. So I'm trying to widen this here. And this is not really the ideal die grinder setup, but I turn it on and hold it with two hands and try to grind that out. And the grinding results in something like this. This thing fits on here now. And uh, I think I'm going to try to just use some 
bolts that clip in place rather than weld it to see if this is the right gearing or not. Okay, so I've done a bunch of these things to get some holes in this. Now I'm just going to rivet it on. Yeah, so it's sort of working, but um, this sprocket needs to be much bigger. I did the math, and instead of a 22 tooth sprocket, I think I need something like a 42 tooth sprocket. So I'm going to take this chain wheel here and butcher that up and figure out a way to put it there. And this is where I realized that my um, phone microphone is completely dead. Maybe you heard it dying with the <coughs> noises. Testing out the RPMs there way too fast, so going back to the drawing board and don't do this at home. Nice way to grind up. Right, so here's the deal. This one is definitely too small. And even this 28 tooth is too small, but according to my calculations, the 42 tooth should be pretty good. So I took and um, used my fancy new tool here, center punch, and punched a hole, or a mark there, and made some concentric circles. I put this on, and then this one, and I'm going to somehow secure this, I guess welding, but I'm scared it's going to twist around to that. Then I'm going to cut this one here and use this as a backing and use these holes which are the same as those holes. Alright, here's take two. Bam, 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 bam. That seems a lot better.